It is without a doubt that the most powerful healing in the world comes from the correct perspective. The most powerful healing in the world is reality. Reality is truth and truth is always kind. When we fall into fear, we fall into a kind of separation, a kind of disconnect from reality, authenticity and truth. And we start to spiral. The most powerful healing in the world. A Course in Miracles has such beautiful, profoundly healing words that can make us gain an authentic perspective. Powerful, really powerful and deep words that can help us to see reality exactly as it is. To take a contemplative look at life, consciousness, and the reality of why we're here. These words are really, really powerful, and I suggest that you use them to keep your perspective pure, to keep your thinking, feeling, and behavior based in reality. It is called, I choose the joy of God instead of pain. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Long, deep breath in. Nice and slow. Purposeful. Pain is a wrong perspective. When it is experienced in any form, it is a proof of self-deception. The most powerful healing in the world. Draw in your future. Time and space. It's not a fact at all. There is no form it takes that will not disappear if seen aright. For pain proclaims God cruel. How could it be real in any form? It is a dream of fierce retaliation for a crime that could not be committed. 
for attack on what is holy and assailable. sign illusions reign in the place of truth. It demonstrates God is denied, confused with fear, perceived as mad, and seen as a traitor to himself. If God is real, there is no pain. Is there no is pain. no pain. Isn't that beautiful? The most powerful healing in the world. Vengeance is not part of love. And fear, denying love and using pain to prove that God is dead, has shown that death is vector over life. Peace to such foolishness. If God is real, there is no pain. The time has come to laugh at such insane ideas. There is no need to think of them as savage crimes or secret sins with weighty consequence. Who but a madman could conceive of them as cause of anything? Their witness, pain, is as mad as they are, and no more to be feared than their insane illusions, which it shields and tries to demonstrate must be true.
It is your thoughts alone that cause you pain. Nothing external to your mind can hurt or injure you in any way. There is no cause beyond yourself that can reach down and bring oppression. No one but yourself affects you. There is nothing in the world that has the power to make you ill or sad, weak or frail. But it is you who have the power to dominate all things you see by merely recognizing what you are. As you perceive the harmlessness in them, they will accept your holy will as theirs. And what was seen as fearful now becomes a source of innocence and holiness. My holy friends, think of this for a while. The world you see does nothing. It has no effect at all. It merely represents your thoughts and it will change entirely as you elect to change your mind and choose the joy of God as what you really want. Yourself is radiant in this holy joy, unchanged, unchanging and unchangeable forever and forever.
down your arms and come without defense into the quiet place where heaven's peace holds all things still at last. Lay down all thoughts of danger and fear. Let no attack enter with you. Lay down the cruel sword of judgment that you hold against your throat and put aside the withering assaults with which you seek to hide your holiness. Here you will understand there is no pain. Here does the joy of God belong to you. This is the day when it is given you to realize the lesson that contains all of salvation's power. It is this. Pain is an illusion. Joy, reality. Here does the joy of God belong to you. is no pain. This is the day when it is given you to realize the lesson that contains all of salvation's power. It is this. Pain is an illusion. Joy, reality. Pain is but sleep, joy is awakening. Pain is deception, joy alone is truth. And there is no pain. And so again, we make the only choice that can ever be made. We choose between illusions and the truth, or pain and joy, or hell and heaven. Why? 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 
Let our gratitude unto our teacher fill our hearts as we are free to choose our joy instead of pain. Our holiness in place of sin, the peace of God instead of conflict, and the light of heaven for darkness of the world. Isn't that beautiful? The most powerful healing in the world.
being a change.